بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو سالار خان یوٹیوب چینل وی ٹو ڈے وی سی اینادر مائنی ٹاپک یو نو آئی ٹول ان دا لاسٹ ویڈیو از ویل دیر از اے مائنر ٹاپک بٹ وین آئی سو دا ٹائم ڈو اٹ سو اٹ واز مور دین 20 اور 23 منٹس آئی بلیو سو اینی ویز اٹ واز این شارٹ بٹ آئی تھاٹ اف اٹ واز شارٹ بٹ اٹ ٹک ٹائم اوور ہیئر ویل دس ون از اے شارٹ سو دس شوڈ ناٹ بی مور دین 12 منٹس so we'll see what's the topic name you've already seen by the heading you've already seen by the video thumbnail is the reverse recovery time recovery time denoted by a skip by a small t and the subscript rr so we have a trr that's the reverse recovery time write down the definition with me the time taken by a diode to switch its characteristics when when the biasing is changed yes when the let me cut it when the biasing is changed what do we mean by this this means that when you switch from the forward bias to the reverse bias or it could also be that when you switch it from the reverse bias to the forward bias but the book has only discussed one so we would stick to one when uh, you have you know the basics you know what current flows in the forward bias region what current flows in the reverse bias so if I'm, if if a, if a certain current is flowing in the forward bias you've already applied a forward bias potential now if you switch the polarity of the battery the external voltage source you switch it to the reverse bias you reverse bias your diode directly what would happen to the current through the diode will it directly drop to zero or some range of micro pico amperes no of course it could not drop at that particular time it will take some time it will take a certain time and that certain time is the reverse recovery time the time taken by diode to switch its characteristics when the biasing is changed so which means you have a certain level of current you switch the biasing so the time that it takes to reach that reverse saturation current from the maximum current that was already present in the forward bias condition that time is called as the as the what the reverse recovery time so let us show it let us show it by a graph if this is uh, if the vertical axis is representing the current through a diode and this horizontal axis is representing the the time axis so what do we have what do we have this was let's say initially the current the initial current was this which is your i forward i believe this is i forward yes so let me name it as i forward this is when the diode is forward biased now at this instant of time t is equal to t1 so at t is equal to t1 you have switched it you have switched it and before t1 when t is less than t1 you have i forward which means this is forward biased right 
and this switched means what this from forward bias you change it to reverse bias so what will happen the current will drop the current will drop it will not drop it will have it will store this current for a certain time for a certain time it will not directly go into the reverse state it will store this current this time is called ts store this current means what this will let pass the same amount of current without any effect of the voltage for a little amount of time so this ts this is the storage time now now what will happen now it will come back to the reverse state let's say our desired level is this right in the reverse bias state a reverse situation current a very low amount of current so this will reach this value this will reach this value and the time taken to reach the, the final value this is called the transition time so tt is the transition time and the reverse recovery time that we say so it is the total time taken to switch the characteristics from this one region to this final region so which mean that this trr this is equal to ts plus tt and now i believe this is clear so the ranges are given in the book let's say we study the book trr forward by state early electron n type holes in type Minority should be reversed diode change instantaneously from conduction state to not conduction state so the diode will not change instantaneously from the conduction state to the non-conduction state it will have a certain transition in between fine yes uh, required in this and that transition interval trr is ts plus tt you can read the book by yourselves so this is normally ignored this is normally ignored but this is very important you have to keep you have to keep a great uh, detail of it where in the high speed high speed switching applications high speed switching applications so in that case you have to keep a greater detail of the reverse recovery time otherwise for normal conditions normal circuit you're analyzing a normal circuit and this and that time and no 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 we don't need this right yes uh, most coarsely available diodes have a range for few nanoseconds to microseconds nanosecond range is what a few nanoseconds to one microsecond so this is the range of it the normal range and otherwise it's also written that uh, the uh, units are available with a trr of only few hundred pico picoseconds as well so uh we are not given the range of ts and tt i thought if this would also be given uh, let me check so no it's not given so anyways so i believe this is it you have understood it whatever i wanted to say and that is it to the end that is the end of our chapter number one as well why am i talking about the end so let me tell you the next topic is your diode specification sheets specification sheet is what it is given by the manufacturer it's a it's a paper is given by the manufacturer which tells you the details of the diode that he has made in which each and every detail is given this recovery time the barrier potential the reverse breakdown voltage the peak inverse rating each the, the temperature effects and this and that so each and everything about the device is given by the manufacturer on the specification sheet that's also called the data sheet 
it would be present in your we have a, uh, an example uh, in the book as well uh, but you when you go to your uh, laboratory so over there when you uh, when you're studying when you're performing experiments so do ask for the diode specification sheets and do understand it as well fine uh, similarly again you have some diode testing the diode checking function then you have a curve tracer so these are again laboratory experimental you would understand it better so if these are not included in your course still you have your book you study it out from your book and you perform it over there so that you understand or you can ask your teacher to to explain you these things to explain you the uh, data sheet now why am I not doing because I don't have a proper data sheet somewhere so you can uh, you would be definitely performing experiments in the lab so on the particular diode that you are doing the things so you ask for the data sheet of that and understand it very well now next topic 1.15 is the Zener diode so Zener diode we have applications in the next chapter uh, as voltage regulator multiplier and this and that so we'll study it the zener diode over there before that so we'll study it with chapter two and the final topic is the light emitting diode so that is not included in the course contents that is not included in the course contents if it is included in your course content you want to learn it you can let me know in the comment section i will try to make a video on it so that is it about it. See you in the next lecture with the start of load line analysis. We've already started load line analysis. We'll start it with examples. Till the next lecture, take care of yourself and everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Do like and follow me on Facebook page. The link is given in the description. You want to check out any notes, books, etc. The, the link to the website is given, coreacademy.com in the description. That's it for this video. Goodbye.